Hi, this is Dave, Fellering Guide. This is just a quick video to help explain something called aspect of slope. Um, aspect of slope is a technique that we can use to identify our position on a hillside, particularly in bad visibility. If we can't see very far, if we can't see down into the valley bottom, for example, and locate our position by features that we can see. So aspect of slope, what is it? First of all, I would say don't get hung up by the term. It sounds a little bit complicated, but if you just think of it as being direction of slope, it would help. So in this example, let's imagine that we are wanting to get from the trig point on Blackfell over and down to this little ruin here on Watchers Hill. And we can't see very much at all. Now, even in, say, 100 metres visibility, you'd still be able to know whether you're walking straight downhill, you know, directly down the hillside, or whether you're going diagonally across the contour lines. So in this situation, imagine that we were here and we wanted to go, we'd go head north eastwards for about a kilometre and then turn right and head roughly eastwards, which will take us in the direction that we want to go down to the ruin. But we couldn't see anything um, due to the the cloud or in the bad visibility. Now this would be useful if, especially if we had an altimeter watch, so if we knew our watch was saying 550 meters, we'd know we were somewhere on this bold contour here, but we wouldn't know exactly where. So with aspect of slope or direction of slope, what we've got to imagine is that we drop a football and that's going to go bouncing straight down the slope across the contour lines at 90 degrees. So, for example, if we were there and we dropped the football, it would bounce across those contour lines like that. It wouldn't go diagonally across them that way or that way. It would go straight down what we call the fall line, straight down the slope. So imagine dropping the football and then we take a compass bearing on the direction that it would have gone in. So in that situation there, taking a compass bearing, imagine the way it would have gone, we're probably looking at a bearing of say 60 degrees northeastwards. If we drop the football and imagined the way it went and took a compass bearing on it as it crossed those contour lines and we were there, then our aspect or direction slope is going to be more like 100 degrees just to the south of east. If we were over here and we dropped the the imaginary football and took a bearing on it, then we can see that it's going to travel in a much more southeasterly direction, closer to 140 degrees. So that would help us knowing whereabouts on that 500 meter contour we were. We could then carry on down the hill, looking at the contour lines, and we get to a point here where it flattens out. And we might look at our watch and it tells us that we're now on the 450 meter contour, so we're approaching our destination. Again, take a compass bearing down that imaginary fall line. If that tells us there that the aspect of slope is 80 degrees, then we're somewhere on this line. If the aspect of slope is closer to 130 degrees, then we're somewhere on this part of the hillside. What we want to be, if we're dropping straight down onto our ruin, the direction of slope there is only just to the south of due east. So we're probably only looking at um, an aspect of slope of about 95 degrees. So that is what we're looking for. So aspect of slope, it can tell us where we, where we aren't. You can certainly rule out um, where we are are on the hillside. So if we knew we were at 450 metres and our aspect of slope was north of east, then there's no way that we could be in this area here. We'd have to be in that area there. So quick recap. Imagine dropping the football, watching it bounce at 90 degrees down the slope, taking a compass bearing on that, and then finding whereabouts on your map the contour lines correspond to that bearing that you've taken. 
rule out places that it couldn't be and then find whereabouts those contour lines match up with that bearing that you've taken. So I hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.